In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we're going to meditate on the fourth sorrowful mystery of the Rosary. Jesus carries his cross to Calvary. His cruel humiliation is now compounded as he is forced to carry the heavy wooden crossbeam to Golgotha, the city rubbish tip where criminals are executed. He is subjected to more mockery, more violence. Try to imagine the pain of the rough wood against his flayed back, chafing the open wounds, the heat, his parched throat clogged by dust from the road, half blinded by the blood which streams down from his crown of thorns. He meets his mother Mary on the way. What a terrible moment for both of them. As Saint Alphonsus said, their looks became as arrows wounding those two hearts that loved one another so. Think of the kindness of Simon of Cyrene and Veronica, the compassion of those women of Jerusalem who wept for pity of him. But there were others, the grim and brutal execution squad, the mob hurling stones and insult at him. Throughout the whole hellish journey, Jesus goes patiently onward, somehow or another, summoning up the strength for one more step, then another, then another. I am conscious that my own sins too increased the weight of that cross. May I carry my own crosses with patient endurance and find generous strength to help any suffering fellow human being bear the weight of their crosses too. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the way of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Jesus, Jesus take, take away, away our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. The Way of the Cross The Via Dolorosa is a narrow little lane, the very paving stones of which are soaked with fear and pain. For countless nameless miscreants that street trod to their fates at the place of execution outside the city gates. A milling mass had solid blocked the little lane that day, when Jesus Christ himself was led along that woeful way. A heavy cross was on his back, already flayed to bone. Abandoned by his closest friends, he walked his path alone. The seething crowd that barred the way were parted by the guard, of rugged Roman soldiers with faces fierce and hard. He stumbled, fell, the cross crashed down, he shouted out in pain. The soldiers kicked him where he lay and dragged him up again. His mother stood there in the crowd, her face an ashen grey. They met for just a moment as he walked that bitter way. Poor Mary looked in horror at her tortured, suffering son, and struggled in her broken heart to say, God's will be done. Simon from Cyrene, he was just newly come to town, but a burly sergeant picked on him when the Lord had fallen down. You look a handy chap, he said, so help him with his load. It's more than my job's worth to let him die along the road. So Simon took the cross behind him at the heavy end, and Jesus, in a weary voice, said, God bless you, my friend. The jeers and catcalls of the people echoed to the sky. Some even spat upon him as he blindly staggered by. Veronica ran from the crowd, ignoring stern commands, and darted past the soldier's spears, a towel in her hands. Quite heedless of all others, and with tender, courteous grace, she cleaned the sweat, the blood and spittle from his holy face. Arrived at length at Golgotha, they took his clothing there and gambled for his tunic, which they didn't want to tear. 
To rend a seamless garment they agreed would be a loss, but they weren't afraid to tear his flesh when they nailed him to the cross. Lord, may I see your face in those who struggle on life's road and try to do the best I can to help them bear their load. Veronica or Simon, let me be for such this day and know that I have helped you too when walking sorrow's way.